Hey, good morning. Uh, boy, we got a good week ahead of us. Uh, the weather looks like it's going to be okay. But more than anything, the message this Sunday was awesome. Lots to think about right up the alley of where the Spirit's been leading me these past few weeks in my own personal life. I hope He's leading you toward the knowledge of God and the Son of God, Jesus Christ, in your life. And uh, as a body, we start growing in the knowledge and the understanding of Jesus Christ so that we can see clearly the Son of Man when He returns. We want to be ready. We want to be able to open that door and say, You are indeed welcome in my life. Well, Psalm 77 is a great psalm because we see recognition of God and a soul being troubled and a spirit being overwhelmed. There's a couple things going on there, and I'm eager to share today because uh, what the Lord has stirred in me has confirmed a lot of things. Pastor Melissa Scott delivered the message that the body needs today, and hopefully we can chew on that all week. You'll see the soul, uh, which is our vessel's uh, learning device, our soul, the the rational spirit that's hungry for information, the animal sentient principle, and then you see the spirit, which is, uh, I want to say pneumaticos or fumin, I can't, I'm no Greek scholar, and uh, I'd like to see what the Septuagint has for soul and spirit in this psalm. But what I see there is either fusikos and sukikos as the soul, and uh, punyoma, and Punyomaticus or whatever. Uh, I'll have to look at it and try to sound it out. Uh, the higher renovated uh, spirit, uh, the humanly ethereal or supernatural spirit uh, becoming overwhelmed because what the soul here, the, what the vessel and the soul sees about God isn't lining up with what's going on around them. And so that's kind of neat that we're gonna be pondering this psalm. Lots to share today, lots to chew on for me and for you, so let's chew on that and grow in the knowledge of God. In Jesus' name, amen.